Well, when we think of witches, we usually think of your Glinders, your Hocus Pocuses, even your Sabrinas. That's just what you see on the telly, right? In the real world, witches aren't all hook nose and double double toil and trouble. They can be your neighbours, your co hosts, or even family members. <laughs> <laughs> what? Sorry, I wasn't listening. The poster child for the modern witch is Fiona Horn, a former TV presenter, best-selling author and lead singer of a pop rock band. After living in the US since 2001, Fiona is back in Australia with a brand new book and a spoken word tour, sharing her tips for modern day magic. It's and Fiona Horn joins us live. <laughs> Lovely to see you. Congratulations on the new book. What made you, you want to put pen to paper? Um, well, it, it's it's everything I've learned in the last 30 years. You know, this book, The Art of Witch. It's um, it's it was an opportunity to put together um, all the lessons and living a magical life and really living it like authentically and uh, and not just reading about it. Mm. Wow, you uh, you've included a witch life checklist yes are there things like uh, giving away most of your possessions drinking a lot of water yes oh, that's a lot of people do that uh, even this very upsetting one don't watch TV no oh. I don't believe, I well, don't this, think that's right. this that's... is kind of like uh, the other thing I believe is that you don't have to grow older you can grow better at living mm. and so my talks that I'm doing on this tour are about that as well like I turned 53 while I'm in Australia this year and I, I love to think of my life as an opportunity to grow and evolve rather than um, than you know get sick and, and die expensively, so to speak. Okay. So how most people tend to think of life. So I, um, the magical life tips that I have are about, you don't even have to be a witch if you want to explore a more um, exciting and transformative way of living. Yeah. Okay, you've said this is your last tour. You're hitting the road for your last tour. Yeah. But you love this stuff. We, we speak to every few years I and know. you do love this stuff. Why well, is I have a full-time job. I'm a commercial pilot now living out in the Caribbean and I've been out there for about six years and I just can't, I, I've just decided as much as you'd never say never, I, I, juggling the two is not sustainable so I wanted to let everyone know this is my last time out to Australia I literally flew in from the Caribbean yesterday morning so it's my last time out to Australia for the foreseeable anytime and uh, I'm gonna really enjoy doing the spoken word tour getting close with people magically and then I'm also my band's even doing a farewell tour this month Def FX so we're gonna be out on the road as well it's a busy month of June wow. Wow. and then I had my boss has given me a month off work to come out to Australia and kind of wrap up my career in the entertainment industry <laughs> then I got to get back to flying airplanes again wow. for him that's amazing but you can't ever give up being a witch though because it is one, no, it's, once it's, a witch always a witch yeah exactly yeah. And, and like it's funny talking about my boss he knows I'm a witch it is mm. what it is um, it's a spiritual path that I feel has allowed me to uh, live a very happy life and mm. that's what the new book talks about as well how to how to be happy and live a magical life mm. okay now you've got some cards yes there. my magic of you, you Oracle I'm so excited about these these are actually my debut Oracle card deck I've been reading the cards forever mm. yeah. and um, this is my opportunity to actually create a deck myself and I thought if you guys want to pull a card oh, for, yes. um, for a bit of guidance I'll do today that. I'll give you a little you gonna, reading do you so know, do you want, yes, just yes. A, I gotta feel the I like to feel the energy yeah, first do it. okay it's this Ooh. one let's see which one it is oh, Naz sorry. oh feel love and proud with Z, Z not a G Naz. Oh, no, I thought you said Naz. With a Z. No, with a Z. It's an unusual word, but what it means, Carly, is yes. to allow yourself to take pleasure in the fact that you are loved and respected. And sometimes we don't allow ourselves to be appreciated internally as much as others love and appreciate us. So it's feel proud in the fact that you are loved. I say that to you all the time. Oh. <laughs> all the time. <laughs> okay, all right, Larry, go. Now, Larry, Oh, uh, wait, okay. wait, there's still some of Kylie's energy on there. <laughs> Can you cleanse her? Uh, uh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> oh my goodness. What did uh -huh. you get? Oh, Sam Samadhi, this is so interesting. This is perfect acceptance. Now, this right. means accepting that everything is exactly as it's meant to be. Yes. For better, for worse, in every way right now. Yes. You're and stuck when, with me, that's what yes. I mean. When you realise, when you give up being a perfectionist, suddenly life becomes perfect. I gave that up so long yes. ago. <laughs> <laughs> so it's finding bliss in the present moment, sitting right. right here, right now, and that's your gift. It means you can do this. This is your gift, I don't and to allow yourself to express that gift. So I believe that a lot of it. Kylie's Naz has rubbed off yeah. my salmon data. <laughs> Lovely to Thank see you. You, you, you go well. Always here. good to see you. Yeah, it's lovely I don't to see like you guys. The fact that we're not come out to the Caribbean. I'll take you flying. Oh, All there right. you go. You Seriously, have... it's, I'm, I promise you, I'll grab a plane and I'll take you up for a scenic right. tour. We'll you... be there under the. We'll be there under Mr. and Mrs. Naz. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you had me at Caribbean. For more info on Fiona Horn's new book, Spoken Word Tour, or hitting the road with Defe, Defe. FX. <laughs> there you go. Just head to themorningshow.com.au. Thanks, Fiona. Thank Thanks, you, guys.